in rise of kingdoms some commanders can perform super well on the battlefield even if you don't have all of their skills maxed out and while it's true that of course having a maxed out commander is probably going to perform a little bit better than a non-maxed version of that commander what if i told you that some commanders can get you 90 or 95 percent of their effectiveness for about 30 percent of the investment for some commanders you really only need two of their skills in order for them to be super super effective and getting two skills maxed out costs 190 legendary commander sculptures whereas maxing out every single skill will cost 690. so if maxing two skills is 70 percent cheaper than maxing the commander and you get 90 percent of the value then maybe these super cheap investments are exactly what you need for your account to get another army out on the battlefield and of course that's exactly what we're going to talk about today but first what's going on guys cheers this is my second cup of cafe bustello today i hope they sponsor me one day okay so today we're going to talk about some of the best 5511 commanders in rise of kingdoms if you guys aren't familiar with that term what that means is the skill level of that commander that you need in order to make them usable okay so 5511 would be the first two skills at max and the last time i made a video like this it was in february and we've had quite a few new commanders come into the game that spoiler alert do land themselves on this list so i figured i would give you guys an update because i've also had some people actually ask for an updated version of this video so we broke this video down into a few different categories there's going to be chapters so make sure you use those to jump to the portion of the video that you care the most about but we're going to start here with honorable mentions like i did in my previous version of this video and that is going to start with richard okay richard is not a 5511 commander although he does perform really well there what i would recommend for most players is 5111 just completely ignore all of his skills except for his active skill okay the reason for this is because richard is not great in pvp in the late game he ages very poorly in rise of kingdoms but there is one thing that he does super well and that is be very tanky for pve content meaning you can use him to chain barbarians and of course you're going to get access to him very early on in the game so i think that having a very very cheap tank in your account is going to help you for a lot of different events especially things like sunset canyon golden kingdom Karak ceremony uh, kvk barbarians right it really helps to have a cheap richard on your account and having the first skill at five gives you a 1400 healing factor 30 percent damage taken reduction for two seconds but up to five targets and a 15 percent march speed reduction you also reduce the damage you take by five percent you gain four percent counter attack damage 10 percent of infantry stats a little bit of bonus to your healing and that's pretty much it another honorable mention here is constantine now a 5511 constantine is a very good budget build and this is not really anything that i would recommend people actually invest in which is why is an honorable mention here but he's worth noting because you are going to see a lot of Constantine in Sunset Canyon and Lost Canyon and of course he can be useful in you know things like Golden Kingdom uh the reason for this is because his active skill is super super powerful when it comes to debuffs you get a ton of infantry health and of course you don't really care about this third skill out in the field and the fourth skill is still going to be kind of nice honestly in those game modes where you are fighting to the death sometimes the lucerne scrolls will have an infantry choice chest okay i've already used all of mine uh but if you've maxed out alexander the great and you have nothing to do with those chests then maybe you want to invest them all into constantine and eventually you'll get a 5511 there which i think could help you out in canyon another honorable mention is mehmed mehmed is actually insanely good at 5511 uh the reason that he's only an honorable mention is because you're gonna get him for free over time by opening up gold keys now it will take quite a long time it'll probably take you at least a year or more to get a 5511 mehmed unless you get super lucky that's just kind of how i've i've seen it for most players and then of course you can go in and get his relic and you'll have a really really nice uh you know double relic here 30 percent troop health 10 percent skill damage you throw him as a secondary to basically anybody and he's got nice skill damage nice tanky stats and he brings more troops to the battlefield we have three more honorable mentions here uh, pyrus is obviously one of them you have a 1400 damage factor and the bonus normal attack damage on the active skill and the second skill 
super good he's a very very um sort of versatile early game infantry commander you really can get a lot of value out of him um but again gold key commander you're not going to be really investing universals into him even if he is really good in the early game in the same vein as pyrus is Thutmose okay Thutmose is basically in my mind he's kind of like the archer version of Pyrus uh he's just a really powerful early game archer commander that doesn't age super well although he does age better than you might think um just like with Mehmed uh, and also with Pyrus Thutmose has his own relic so he is a commander at 5511 that you can consider using if you've got nothing else but don't use universals on him because you get him for free and the final honorable mention is Charles Martel he has obviously this has been like the tried and true OG infantry tank that you get from the gold keys nice shielding factor 30 percent all damage bonus for four seconds which is insane you also gain 15 percent defense and 15 percent health at 5511 so 30 percent of the tankiest stats for infantry which is great third skill you really don't even care about regardless and 10 percent more counterattack damage which I think honestly is beautiful again don't use universals here but he is an honorable mention with the honorable mentions out of the way we're going to move on to infantry and as you can tell by what's on the screen right now the first commander we're going to talk about is actually Gorgo and of course we have to use the forums because she's technically been revealed but not in the game yet and you can tell just by her stats that she is going to perform super well as a 5511 with one huge caveat and that is that she's very slow but but if you can make use of her as slow as she may be she is going to be insane at 5511 even though she's a garrison commander this is really nice damage output okay 2300 single target damage it's smite damage which means if the enemy is mitigating skill damage that they receive doesn't matter this is going to hit full force okay for the next three seconds this commander's troop deals 10 percent more normal attack damage 10 percent more counter attack damage and takes 20 percent less skill damage but also deals five percent less skill damage overall insanely good active skill here her second skill gives her 40 percent attack and when you launch a normal attack you have a 10 percent chance to increase normal attack damage taken by the target by 30 percent for three seconds very powerful then her third skill at a single point says that whenever a troop launches a normal attack there's a 25 percent chance of just dealing 100 damage factor okay that's nice you get that just by unlocking this and then the fourth skill here says whenever this commander's troop deals smite damage it gains 15 percent more normal attack damage for three seconds that is basically half the value that it would be at max but you get this just by unlocking it so really really good stuff here on gorgo again the huge downside here is the march speed and she's infantry so she will move extremely slow but just the pure stats on her are insane do i think that you should invest in her at 5511 mm, probably not the highest priority on this list but it is worth mentioning her just based on how good her stats look alone next up for infantry is sargon and this is a really good commander at five five one zero in fact and this is kind of a unique scenario for sargon and you know we're going to talk a little bit about the nuance here but technically you don't want to unlock this fourth skill unless you're going to use sargon as a primary then of course you have no choice because you have to take him to level 60 but if you look at his active skill um if you can stay connected for five seconds which with the amount of march speed reduction these days it's easier than players think i, I think a lot of players make it sound like this is impossible like oh my god you're never gonna stay connected for five seconds like bro what i don't know what you're doing in the open field but a lot of times you can it's, it's not that hard okay you deal 2500 damage factor here the second skill gives you 10 percent infantry attack 20 percent infantry health and when you deal skill damage there's a 100 chance of inflicting the odd debuff to the target which increases the skill damage that they take by three percent for 10 seconds and you can stack this 10 times so you can make the target take 30 percent more skill damage which is crazy really good stuff there this third skill at one gives you three percent march speed that's kind of unfortunate that it's only three percent at one point but you also get two percent more damage when attacking troops okay and normal attacks have a 10 percent chance to increase all damage dealt by 10 percent for three sec or for three seconds and you can only trigger once every eight seconds uh just unlocking this is nice it's not that crazy at one point but 
it is still pretty good and eventually you can come back in and uh, finish him off the reason that you don't unlock the fourth skill for sargon is because when you do it will actually remove the odd stacks and inflict a uh, 500 damage factor which is not worth it for the value that the odd stacks provide at 10. you'd much rather leave them at 10 uh then actually remove them and deal a small damage factor so really sargon is good at five five one zero uh eventually you could take him to five 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 zero and then if you want to use him as a primary you would do five 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 uh really we want this at least at like probably three if, if anything so yeah do you want to expertise sargon uh maybe eventually he's not top priority to expertise but you can get some pretty good value out of him uh, with just two skills maxed out. And we can't talk about infantry value if we don't talk about Luce. Okay, this is the latest infantry commander in Rise of Kingdoms. And oh my God, at 5511, the value here is absolutely insane. Okay, his active skill, five target AoE. It's the only one for infantry. He, no other infantry hits five targets, by the way. 2,250 damage factor actually insane okay that is actually insane it's aoe 2250 mind-blowing okay and on top of that there's a 40 percent march speed reduction and also this is smite damage so that means if the enemy is mitigating again just like with gorgo if they're mitigating skill damage that they take it doesn't matter this is going to hit them full force as well really crazy stuff this second skill at five gives you 20 percent infantry defense 20 percent march speed thank god that's what you want and 20 percent skill damage taken reduction amazing very tanky stuff here and the speed that you need the third skill at one point still gives you five percent infantry attack which is nice and you have a 25 percent chance of dealing 100 smite damage very cool the fourth skill at one gives you two percent more normal attack damage and when you deal smite damage you reduce the damage dealt by the target by two percent okay so it's not it's nothing crazy but it's a, a little bit of bonus that you get just by unlocking this which is really nice now should you expertise luce yes i think out of everyone we've talked about so far in this video um this is the one that like you should eventually expertise him but putting him on the field of 5511 he's going to perform pretty well and finally to round out the infantry we have Scipio and this is a no-brainer okay if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time you know that Scipio is pretty much the best infantry commander in the game Luce is the latest greatest hotness he's the least the heat the new kid on the block okay uh, but I think Scipio is still probably slightly better than him because there's so much synergy for CPO with basically every other commander in the infantry tier and even commanders that aren't infantry people in the early days of season of conquest are using CPO with YSG that's how versatile he is okay um at 5511 you have a three target 2000 damage factor AoE and that's just let me put that in perspective okay that's how good Luce is okay the best infantry commander in the game right now has a a weaker damage factor than Luce and hits less targets than Luce okay so that's just to put in perspective how insane Luce's active skill is but also um the enemies get 30 percent reduced health and that is very punishing guys that is so punishing especially if you pair him with Luce oh my god second skill here gives you 40 percent infantry attack and 15 percent March speed plus if you're outside Alliance territory it's another 10 percent of March speed and you could see this energy here with Luce again they both get March speed on the second skill Luce gets some tankiness on a second skill CPO gets some offensive stats on his second skill there's a lot to love here the third skill here gives you 10 percent infantry health just by unlocking it and a 10 percent chance of dealing 750 additional damage factor over the course of three seconds oh my god that is so much value for just unlocking the skill you get half the value of the entire skill just by unlocking it that's really good stuff and the final fourth skill here gives you a 50 percent chance of reducing skill damage you take by 10 percent and getting a shield of 250 so amazing really great kit Scipio is such good value 5511 he's going to perform so well and yes eventually you should expertise him he is king of infantry in my book you are not going to regret investing in cpo and that's going to do it for infantry next we're going to talk about cavalry and first of all we have to talk about william okay william is one of the best value investments in rise of kingdoms uh it's obvious to see why okay he has a sort of a weird aoe shape it's a rectangle 
and the damage factor here is starting to show its age a little bit but the reason that you bring William is for the rest of his kit it's not necessarily the AoE skill damage although 1500 it's not horrible like I would say it's a very medium damage factor here for rise of kingdoms these days what's great here is it says attacked troops extra skill damage from buffs cannot take effect so this is good for virtually every enemy you're going to encounter except for Gorgo and Luce really good stuff and it's a 30 percent March speed production amazing love to see that the second skill here says all cavalry units gain 20 percent attack and 15 percent March speed awesome cavalry love to be fast and hitting harder with attack is nice troops led by this commander deal 10 percent increased damage what 10 percent increased damage outside of Alliance territory that's amazing really great stuff here third skill at one still gives you 10 percent of cavalry attack which is nice I mean you already got 20 percent here now you're getting another 10 percent okay great but also your normal attacks have a 10 percent chance to deal 600 damage factor for free and if the target is surrounded it's going to take extra damage factor depending on how many targets is actually hitting it and finally the fourth skill at one gets almost all of its value honestly uh when your active skill hits multiple targets you get 10 percent increased defense for three seconds which is half the value okay but also if you hit two or more targets this commander's troop gains not only the defense but 50 rage per second for three seconds that's 150 rage and your nearby allies gain that too so that's really supportive amazing stuff out of William uh, 5511 is insane value obviously this third skill getting this to five would be nice but you never need to expertise William at this stage of the game if you haven't done it already don't do it it's not really worth it you don't really get that much extra value out of expertising William but just getting him on the field at 5511 is gonna feel great next up is Nevsky and this is a no-brainer uh eventually you'll want to expertise Nevsky I mean there's just so much to love about his kit but his active skill 2300 single target damage factor and a really good defense reduction here depending on how many targets are surrounding the, the enemy really amazing stuff second skill 20 percent attack 20 percent march speed and 20 percent health outside of alliance territory amazing stuff here okay and you can see the synergy with william as well if you got the bolt of 5511 you'd get a really good value out of that uh third skill gives you 10 percent defense just by unlocking it and you get 2% extra bonus damage and 1% less damage taken from surrounded targets. Awesome. Fourth skill says you get 5% bonus skill damage just for unlocking it and 15% extra skill damage for four seconds when you cast an active skill. So total that's 20% bonus skill damage for your secondary commander for free just by unlocking this next up is Joan of Arc Prime and I think that this goes without saying but really the configuration for Joan is not 5511 in fact it is 5115 and that is super disappointing okay because it's really hard to get this fourth skill to five but if you can get your hands on some skill resets which right now at the time of recording this we actually have an anniversary event and in the shop there is a skill reset for free right here okay so if you're a free to play player or a low spender you should get this um it's virtually never that we get skill resets for free so get this this is one of the most valuable items in the game if you are a free to play or low spender please please don't regret that anyway the active skill at five is a three target 2000 damage factor aoe and this commander's troop and two surrounding friendly troops also deal five percent more damage for three seconds and gain 20 rage per second for three seconds so that is 60 total rage plus a massive nuke which is amazing and of course her fourth skill at five gets you 10 percent more health nice and a 100 percent chance to cast her active skill again now it's a 10 second cooldown because it's insanely good but i mean come on guys 4,000 damage factor every other skill cycle oh my god okay and we already talked about if you pair it with Nevsky she's gonna get a bonus skill damage here oh my god dude it's so good it is so good here um now should you expertise Joan of Arc Prime I don't think so uh, I don't think many players need the expertise here it's okay but it's so expensive I would say honestly if you could do a 5515 like that would be perfect but I don't really think the expertise is necessary and finally the last cavalry commander is Huo Chibing and this is one of the new kids on the block we gotta talk about him he is fresh off the press and I think he's gotten maybe not enough love honestly I feel like there was a lot of hype when he came out then the test results came out and people thought oh well he's kind of okay but a lot of people still 
still have Zhang Yu I think he's definitely better than Zhang Yu like no question there is no question he is better than Zhang Yu in my book Zhang Yu's AoE is not as good as people think because it reduces by 25 percent per target instead of 15 so it is actually like really not not that good and the 30 percent defense reduction is nice except for the fact that you probably have your Nevsky debuff which is 45 and that they just don't like it's always going to be overridden by the Nevsky and there's so many Nevskys in the open field that the defense reduction on Zhang Yu has really not aged that well and in comes Huo Che Bing and he is honestly a really good replacement because the single target damage factor here is more damage factor than than Zhang Yu even if Zhang Yu hit three targets even if he hits three targets this is still more damage factor because it is just so insanely high and the 50 percent March speed reduction is good we've got a lot of March speed reduction these days okay we already talked about it with William we talked about it with Luce there's a lot of March speed reduction okay but 50 percent is really good honestly it's really good and of course the second skill 40 percent attack and when outside of lands territory you get 15 percent extra March speed and you deal five percent more damage to archers the third skill by just unlocking it states that if you've been on the map for at least 30 seconds and has fought in at least one battle already or has previously triggered the autumn wind effect every time it enters combat it will gain the following buffs for the first 15 seconds by unlocking it it is 10 percent bonus skill damage for free and 50 less rage to activate the active skill so this becomes 950 just by unlocking this and after the 15 seconds you'll get two percent bonus normal attack damage that's really not that much to be honest with you um this skill is okay it's not his best skill so skipping it and having that one is fine and the fourth skill here will give you 10 percent increased defense and you will deal five percent more skill damage whenever your troop defeats an enemy you'll get 600 healing factor which honestly that's not going to happen that often so it's kind of negligible regardless but you still get some nice defense and skill damage just by unlocking it that's kind of cool I think at 5511 Huo is solid in the open field now I think 5515 might be better but honestly Huo Che Bing at 5511 really good value and you know should you eventually expertise him it really depends um I think you know if you're going to go for him you probably eventually want to but he's definitely really really low priority I mean there's so many other commanders that you're going to want to expertise before him so just keep that in mind moving on to archers we're going to start with Tamiris now this is a very niche role so I don't think all players should run out and try to attempt this with Tamiris but I have to at least mention her because she is she's no pun intended she's pretty legendary okay she's been around for a while because she has a unique use case and it's very similar to Sargon but unfortunately she's similar to Joan of Arc Prime in that you would rather have her at 5115 so really the number of players watching this video that are going to get this quite low um and it's really not a priority anymore but it's still worth talking about a thousand damage factor and if the target is poisoned you remove the stacks and deal a nice single target instant proc damage which is great the second skill at one literally doesn't matter because it's just for attacking cities the third skill at one gives you 10 percent attack and you have a 10 percent chance to reduce the target defense by 10 percent, which is cool but the fourth skill being at five is where she shines she has a 100 chance to get uh, give a stack of poison to the target for each normal attack and it stacks up to 15 times and it lasts five seconds for each stack but it's refreshed every time a new stack is added and every single stock the target takes three percent extra skill damage 45 percent increased skill damage and the reason that players still use Tamiris to this day is for the poison stacks because it helps you swarm down targets okay if you're swarming a flag or a fortress or a, a rally for for that it matter uh having the target take 45 percent increased skill damage from everyone hitting it absolutely ridiculous so it's worth mentioning even though this is quite niche next up is artemisia and i'm just going to say this right now um the archers have the most 5511 viable commanders in the game in my opinion um artemisia 1800 damage factor aoe amazing she also unfortunately deals damage to herself but uh we'll ignore that for the moment second skill 40 percent of tanky stats split between defense and health amazing third skill at one doesn't even matter because it's for garrisons and the fourth skill at one gives you a 25 percent damage increase when her rage meter reaches 80 percent she could silence herself but knowing you because you are a watcher of omniarch videos and you're you're smart okay you're gonna pair her with Boudica prime or Zhuge Liang maybe but probably not more likely Boudica prime uh and basically Boudica prime if she's expertise is going to wipe away that self silence most of the time and we love to see that okay so you get 25 percent bonus damage for five seconds for free 
most of the time which is amazing just by unlocking this unbelievable value here we love artemisia this is bay next up is nebu uh nebu is kind of showing his age a little bit but a lot of players are still using him with Duke Leong in the open field. And it's not hard to see why, because he has a five target AOE. Very rare. I think this is only the second time we've talked about a five target AOE in this video. Okay. 1500 damage factor forward facing cone second skill gives him 30 percent defense and 15 percent march speed very vanilla but it's good it's tanky it's fast you want you love to see that third skill doesn't matter for open field because it's rallies anyway and the fourth skill just by unlocking this you deal three percent more damage and you have a 10 percent chance to reduce the target's rage by 20. nothing crazy but 5511 is super cheap and you know it's nice it's something of course we have to talk about Boudicca Prime okay 5511 Boudicca Prime is usable in the open field active skill 2300 damage factor single target nuke okay and the target takes 35 percent increased skill damage and reduces the March speed by 30 percent for three seconds so another March speed reduction really good stuff there okay this is so good for swarming things down if the target you're hitting takes 35 percent more skill damage from everything that we've talked about in this video oh my god okay besides Lu Chang Gorgo of course the second skill here gives you 30 percent archer attack and 10 percent March speed and you gain 30 percent defense when you go below 80 percent which you know you you probably will do that eventually in most fights so that is good to have the nice little bonus tankiness the third skill being at one will still reduce skill damage you take by 10 percent just by unlocking this which is nice and then the rest of the skill here is really not that crazy I mean it even at five this is not really that crazy so yeah and then the fourth skill at one will increase your damage delta infantry by a measly one percent but you will have a 400 healing factor when you use your active skill for free which is nice but the new kid on the block Zhu Liang this is a powerhouse at five five one one now Boudicca Prime should you expertise her no okay should you expertise Nebu or Artemisia the other commanders that we talked about no we, you should not be expertising those commanders um you should definitely save the sculptures but Zhuge Liang you definitely should expertise this guy eventually okay uh but at 5511 you get a lot of value here you get a 2005 target AoE unbelievable it's also a circle and you don't have to expertise him to get that circle okay YSG you got to expertise him for the circle Zhuge Liang just gets it by default and have the target steal 15 percent less damage for three seconds that's an insane debuff coupled with an insane aoe like literally the best aoe in the game pretty much okay second skill here says you get 30 percent health amazing and deal five percent extra damage whenever you're inflicted with a control effect okay so that's silence disarm heal immunity whatever there's a 50 percent chance to just negate it and deal 500 damage to that attacking troop you get a silence from Guan Yu just kidding boom you hit him with a 500 damage factor love it third skill here at one will give you five percent bonus skill damage and you have a 10 percent chance to increase your attack by 25 percent so basically half the value of the attack increase here kind of we love to see that okay we love to see just for unlocking it and fourth skill when this is at one you'll gain two percent bonus damage with the marquee effect and then if you deal a skill damage with the marquee effect it will remove that effect and deal 700 damage factor in a three target forward facing aoe so a double aoe on this guy and you get it just by unlocking the skill love to see that okay again eventually expertise him but five five one one he's insane a little bit slow but he's still insane next we'll talk about Henry active skill 2300 damage factor nuke and reduces the skill damage that you take by 30 percent for five seconds this is a little bit less valuable now that Gorgo and uh Luce are in the game but still really really good second skill gives you 20 percent attack and 20 percent defense and also 20 percent March speed outside of Alliance territory amazing all the stuff that you would really want from an open field commander third skill doesn't even matter that it's at one because it's for rallies and fourth skill at one you get two percent more archer damage and when you would get attacked there's a 10 percent chance to just deal 400 damage factor to them so you get basically half the value of that damage factor just by unlocking this which is really good now should you expertise Henry eventually probably not unless you're an archer main uh, I think his expertise is actually very good uh, but realistically most players you know this is not a high priority ex expertise I, I really don't think so and finally you thought we were going to talk about all the archers except for YSG but you'd be wrong um you can use YSG at 5511 okay is he better at expertise obviously is the circle dealer AOE better obviously okay it's more damage factor it's it's just better okay it's just better I'm not going to argue that okay but even if you don't have him expertise it's still a 1400 five target AOE in front of you which is basically Nebu's active skill it's fine it's fine okay second skill a little bit of a rage engine and a 100 attack increase that happens on a 10 chance 
okay and then just by unlocking the forest skill you gain 20 percent bonus skill damage it's fine it's it you know do you want him expertise yes okay eventually you want to get him expertise now if you are in season of conquest and you don't have him expertise already you might want to move on to something else because there are better investments than YSG these days. But if you just started playing Rise of Kingdoms and you're really grinding and you really want the best account possible, um, this would probably be your first expertise and is the case for most players these days. But yeah, I mean, 5511, if you left him there, like, is it the end of the world? no it's not anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoy this video and you made it all the way to the end i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there comment down below your favorite 5511 commanders i would love to hear from you guys down below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace